Hi everyone, my name is Guanj Allah Khalif and I am from Turkmenistan and today I would like to present to you uh, my country Turkmenistan and let me start with some general uh, information about Turkmenistan Turkmenistan located in Central Asia and bordering in the north with Kazakhstan north east Uzbekistan and in south uh, Iran, Afghanistan and in the west with Azerbaijan and Russia by Caspian Sea and total area is 488,100 kilometers square, population 5.6 million, form of ground, Republic, head of state president. And in the left corner you can see our state flag, it's where uh, uh, five stars represent uh, five our regions, and also our five ornamental goals in the left side of our flag. Uh, it represents also five regions and uh, Turkmen famous carpet. And below of our flag you can see our uh, emblem and uh, in the uh, center of our emblem located the famous uh, Akhalteke uh, horse breed. And below uh, you can see how our uh, regions divided between themselves in the, in the map. And our uh, language, Turkmen language, religion, Islam, our currency called Manat. And one USD equal to 3.5 Manat. And let, let's move to the part with some statistics. Uh, Turkmenistan age breakdown highest between 15 and 29 and uh, lowest between 75 and over the 85. And the uh, ethnic composition is 85% uh, Turkmen and others Uzbek, Russian. And uh, urban rural is close to similar. Religious affiliation is 87.2% Muslim and uh, 9% non-religious and other religions. Turkmenistan is the fourth largest gas reserve in the world. Turkmen gas export rose, you can, as you can see in the map, it's uh, showed the red lines. The uh, Turkmen gas export go to uh, Russia, from Russia to Europe, to uh, China and to Iran and uh, in the future now it's uh, building new gas pipeline to India. It's uh, called Tapi, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India. And uh, as you uh, see in the uh, right corner, uh, the uh, highest uh, uh, in China gas import comes from Turkmenistan. And it's still Turkmenistan is the biggest gas exporter to China. And uh, you can see the main, uh, our uh, Turkmen exports, they are natural gas, oil, oil products, lubricant, oil, polypropylene, liquefied gas, electric power, textile, gene, cotton, agricultural products, and imports, technological equipment, transport facilities, raw materials, and stars. I think this graph perfectly shows that GDP growth and foreign direct investment growing year by year. Ashgabat is our capital city and we built our city after how we get our independence. All our buildings is uh, covered with the uh, uh, highest quality and most beautiful white marble. And we have 10 architectural records in the Guinness Book and also uh, we record in the Guinness Book as the uh, most white marble covered city. Look and enjoy Ashgabat the night time and the daytime pictures for you. Again some beautiful parts of our city Ashgabat. First is a living apartment, second is a TV tower, third is rope road, four hotel, five stadium and six international airport. And the second important city in our country is Turkmenbashi. It's located in the shore of the Caspian Sea and here also we have lots of new buildings and also the Caspian Sea's largest seaport is located on Turkmenbashi and also we have lots of oil refineries and other uh, oil product producing uh, factories which are located in Turkmenbashi city. And this is our tourist zone called Awaza. It's also located in the shore of Caspian Sea and here builds a lot of five-star hotels restaurants, spa centers, entertainments, different aqua parks, other parks, shopping centers and every year here held a lot of international events. A huge amount of our territory is surrounded by desert called 
Karakum. In Karakum uh, we have lots of uh, beautiful and interesting places for tourists and every year uh, we have here uh, uh, world uh, rally championship events and also Karakum was the heart of the uh, ancient Silk Road. On this map you can see that all trade roads connecting China with Europe is passing from our territory and our Karakum Desert. Let's enjoy some our natural mountain pictures. And we have uh, four mountains, Kopetsa, Kritanja, Abi, Balkan, Small Papa Mountains, and the highest point uh, is located in Kritanja. It's called Air Baba. The height is uh, uh, 3,200 meters, and a lot of uh, alpinists from all over the world love to uh, climb to our mountains. In the East, the Turkmen built more than 60 countries, and one of them is Seljuk Empire. Seljuk Empire lived uh, from 1040 till 1200 years, and at its greatest extent, the Seljuk Empire controlled a vast area stretching from Western Anatolia and the Levant to the Hindu Kush in the East, and from Central Asia to the Persian Gulf in the South. The fall off started after the time of the last Seljuk Sultan Sanjar in 1158 year and the Sultan Sanjar's tomb is located also in uh, Merv city in Turkmenistan and uh, as you know the one after the fall of the Seljuk Empire one part of Seljuk Empire uh, built an Ottoman Empire in the west. One of the sad parts of our history is our uh, Battle of Gokchape. These are the Russian captain to conquer the uh, Turkmen lands, Central Asian lands, and uh, it's first time uh, in uh, 1879 Russian forces defeated by Turkmen, and uh, second time they come Russian comes with uh, with more guns, more army, more artillery, and. On January 18, 1881, they bombed with mine all over the hill and killed all people. And after this, Turkmen land started controlled by Russians. And uh, we get our independence in 1991, October 27. And after we get our neutrality on 1995, December 12. This year, we will celebrate our 25 year anniversary of our neutrality. Yes, that's all. Armin Vanbury, the famous Hungarian historian, he was a proponent of the hypothesis of the Turkish origin of the Hungarian language, and one of the goals of his journey to the East was to accumulate material in support of his hypothesis. As you can see in the map, he traveled to the East a lot of uh, roads, and he traveled all the territory of Turkmenistan, to support his hypothesis about uh, Turkish origin of Hungarian language. Our president is Kurban Ulumel Kulish Berd Muhammadov, president of Turkmenistan since 2007 till present day. By leadership of our president, Turkmen nation achieved a great step and success in all aspects of the life. We have a lot of historical and uh, natural places for tourism and as you can see we have uh, a lot of ancient and beautiful uh, uh, buildings from the uh, our historical empires countries the a lot of them are uh, included to unesco and they are famous and uh, loved by tourists all over the world we have our national treasures. They are our Turkmen alibi dog breed, our Turkmen Akhaltika horse breed, our, our Turkmen carpet, which is very ancient and famous in the world, and our traditions, traditional clothes, which we use in our life. We have more than 70 national musical instruments, and the most famous of them, Dutar, which is played by men. You can see the photo in the left side. And in the center, our traditional dance, Kuchtepti. And in the right side, our uh, musical instrument called Kopuz. It's played uh, especially by women. 
Turkmen traditional foods. I will uh, show you four of them as example. First, palo. Uh, it's also maybe if you can find can be found in other Asian countries. The second, zorama. Third, mansi, and the last, fiji. Our uh, traditional berries. Uh, the most popular and most useful uh, in the hot summer times called chal. Uh, it can be suzme chal or camel chal. It's done uh, made by uh, sheep's milk or or can be made by uh, cow's milk or camel's milk. And the most loved uh, beverage of our nation, I think, the green tea and especially when it's boiled on a fire. Here you can look at the Turkmen Santa Claus and Snow Maiden with the Turkmen traditional clothes and in the right side uh, the photos of Ashgabat at uh, New York firework time. Turkmen and Hungary partnerships rising year by year. For example, on uh, 20th May 2019 Petrus Yuarto, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Hungary and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkmenistan Rashid Meredov, they signed agreements and a pact for partnership and Peter Yuarto uh, say that we are looking forward that gas resources of Turkmenistan will feed the common energy flow of Central Europe. And after uh, on 21st January 2020, the Minister of Finance and Economic Battle Bazaar from Turkmen side and from Hungary, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade State Secretary for Information and International Representation of Hungary, Tamas Menzer, and uh, signed by uh, Turkmen Agricultural University and St. Eastern University Agreement about for partnership. Thank you all for listening and it was a real pleasure to me present my country here and again thank you very much for your attention.